Hey guys, welcome back for another Bourbon Brothers review brought to you by Gavin and Jeff. And today we're going to be reviewing Barter House by the Orphan Barrel Distilling Company. Yes, this is uh, one of Diageo's products. It's a you know sort of a new line. They've got the Orphan Barrel line. In addition to the Barter House, you also have Rhetoric and Old Blowhard. Yep. Uh, each one has some different characteristics and are from uh, you know varying uh, you know s sort of old stock of bourbon, if you will. Yeah, this Barter House, uh, the mass bill, it's 86% corn, 8% barley, and 6% rye. It's 20 years old, which is awesome. Definitely. And uh, it's bottled at 90.2 proof. Yep, and for something you can get for under 80 bucks, uh, you know, I think for a 20 year old, that's yeah, a that's good, awesome. good bargain. Definitely changes up the uh, the market, so it's uh, it's great to, great to find. Well, let's take a look at the color, shall we? And it's definitely a nice, uh, a deep color. Yeah, almost like a maple syrup, maybe. Yeah, maybe a, like, like a, a dark a, maple color. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. 20 years old, so you don't get much of these. Nope. All right, Jeff, let's take a note, shall we? There's definitely a lot going on here. Yep, I think like a peanut, nutty type flavor is one of the yeah. you know bigger things that's jumping out at me. Um, sort of some red hot cinnamon as well. Sure. Yeah. Definitely some honey vanilla. Creme brulee even. Very nice desserty. Sweet. Yeah. You get some nice sweetness to go with go with the peanut. And so also sort of like, you know, which is being a 20 year old, there's going to be a little bit of a mustiness almost, if you will. Yeah, I would even call it sawdust kind of. It's a uh, very, very dry on the nose. Yeah, yeah, it just you know, it's showing its age, you know, basically. Sure. Yeah, heavy dry oak. All right, well, hey, let's uh, let's take a taste, shall we? Cheers. Cheers. Definitely that honey still, along with some caramel. Definitely the peanut, and maybe even like almost like peanut shell. You know, if you're biting something yeah. with a shell still on it, I think you're getting both the peanut and a little bit of the shell, shell dust sort of in there as well. Yeah, Jeff, that's it's really dry. Yes, it is dry. You know, we don't get to uh, taste and even a review a lot of older bourbons. And 20 years old, this is it's up there. It's uh, it's really dry, really oaky. Yeah, definitely, uh, especially on the back end, that oak, it's just dry. Yeah, it has those initial sweet flavors that just kind of fade and give way to this massive, you know, you know, one of, the, you know, one of those nice. big oak trees you have in your backyard. That's right. They age it for 20 years, and that's what you get coming down the throat. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely not your typical, you know, bottle right there. It's really neat. Definitely has some character to it. The finish is fairly smooth and mellow, though. You know, it's kind of got a lighter mouthfeel. You know, uh, 90.2 90 proof, so it's not too high there. Um, probably a medium finish. Just definitely uh, really heavy on the dry, oaky side. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, it's a light, sort of light mouthfeel. It's not, you know, some, some reviews have done more like a, a syrup. This is certainly definitely a, a lighter... Uh, and mouthfeel. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's good um, for seventy dollars. You know, upper seventy, eighty dollars. Uh, probably not something I would continuously search stock, out. Yeah, continuously stock. A better way to put it, but um, definitely something worth trying. Uh, looking forward to trying the other Orphan Barrel releases and comparing them. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not every day you can find a you know twenty year old bourbon. Yeah. You know, they're few and far between. Definitely, definitely, and um, certainly glad we picked it up, glad we were able to review it for you. All right, Jeff, so rating, what would you give Barter House, Kentucky Bourbon? Um, I think with the the rating for this one, you do have to consider the, you know, the price of it. It's great being a 20-year-old, you know, uh, you know, a, a little bit more of a rare type bourbon, but, um, you know, a little bit heavy on some of its notes, so I'm probably going to go like an 8.2 out of 10, I think. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's a 20-year-old, you know, bottle. It's going to be really dry, and that's, you know, uh, for, personally, I think I prefer some of the younger, sweeter bourbons out there, um, but 
definitely something, um, if you have the chance to try it, maybe your local bar, definitely uh, worth a shot. Definitely gives you kind of a different perspective on how age can affect, you know, uh, the taste of a bourbon. So uh, certainly. certainly awesome that we were able to pick it up and review it for you. I would have to agree with Jeff. I'll probably just go a little bit higher, maybe 83, 84 on the rating. But uh, thanks for watching another review brought to you by the Bourbon Brothers. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Bourbon Bee Reviews. And uh, like and subscribe to the video. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers.